דרך לשם. But America has closed borders. They don't allow every Mexican who wants to come in to come in. You have Palestinians living in Israel with full political rights, represented in the Knesset. Uh, you don't have discriminatory laws against them that they may, may not swim on certain beaches or anything like that. I think it's unfair to call Israel an apartheid state If Kerry did so, I think he made a mistake. To be fair, Kerry said that Israel can be an apartheid state if it will not go to the two-state solution. Do you think it can be an apartheid state? The test will be, do everybody living then in such a, a unitary state, will everybody have full political rights? Will everybody enjoy their full human rights? If they will, it's not an apartheid state. In the case of South Africa, we became economically totally integrated. And it no longer made sense. We became an economic omelette. And once you make an omelette out of eggs, you can never separate the yellow and the white again. So, no, in our case, the concept of separateness failed. I'm not saying it's the right thing. solution for Israel. But there will come in Israel a turning point where if the main obstacles at the moment which exist to a successful two-state solution are not removed, the two-state solution will become impossible. So as an outsider, I would say, believing that a two-state solution might be the best one. You'll have to move fast, see the window of opportunity, jump through it, it might close. When we had deadlocks, our biggest success was when Mandela put himself in my position and went out of his way to understand my position. And I, at the same time, put myself in Mandela's position and went out of my way to accommodate him. His core concerns. And to break a deadlock, you need initiatives. We sat down and said, let's draw a list. What do we agree upon? And the list was longer than we expected. And then slowly but surely, we worked first on the easier things, where it was more easy to, through a give-and-take process, find each other. And we reserved the most difficult ones for later. And in the end, we, were, we forced ourselves, we weren't forced by outside forces, we forced ourselves to say, we have made such big progress, we must now resolve these most difficult points. Mr. Frederick de Klerk, former president of South Africa, thank you very much for this interview. Thank It you. was very nice having you here. Pleasure. Thank you.